before I was in the Ornish program, I had a lot of get-togethers and entertain quite a bit. And one of my favorite things is uh, this Bavarian meatball recipe, and uh, that a friend of mine had given me. The and so what I would do is I'd make the the sauce, and I would just buy frozen meatballs and use the frozen meatballs. But when I joined Ornish, I had to have some meatballs because I still wanted this to be the staple for my parties. And so I started working on making my own meatballs. And I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to make uh, Bavarian meatless meatballs. The sauce is really easy, and, but it uh, sounds different. This is Bavarian sauerkraut and it has, uh, uh, it's a little sweeter than other sauerkraut. So you just put a can of that in there. And you purchase it where? Kroger. 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 But just be sure it's Bavarian because it's right up there with the other. And uh, so you just put a can of that in there. A can of whole cranberries. And I just use Kroger, you can use whatever brand you want. It, it's the, uh, Whole cranberry sauce. Whole berries. Okay. A jar of chili sauce. Just no one. Okay. Did you get the sugar? Yeah. Oh, here it is. Okay, great. Okay. One jar of the chili sauce. And the, this sauce is really what makes the meatballs. If you if you could think of another recipe for meatballs. It doesn't matter what kind of meatballs you put this sauce over. And then you use a jar of water. And if you want to use the uh, Splenda brown sugar, you would just use half as much. And then you just put this on the burner and heat it up. And when it gets heated through, a lot of times for the party, I just mix it all up real well and put it in the crock pot over the things and turn it up on high till it starts, you know, kind of heats through, and then just turn it on low for the party. You put that over medium heat? Yes, medium heat, and just and then, stir it until it all, the cranberry stuff uh, gets liquefied and gets all blended together, and then just pour it over your meatballs. What I do is I put the, the liquid things in first. Now, when I make it for a party, I double the, the recipe that you have uh, because this that sauce will cover 60 to 75 meatballs, and this only makes 36, 40. But I'm just going to make one. I put the liquid stuff in there and then the crackers so that the crackers can kind of start getting soft and, and uh, <laughs> okay. And I buy any kind of crackers that'll fit our guidelines. Uh, this time I, I use these, but I, I have even used, uh, I take any whole wheat bread that we can eat and put it in the oven on low and let it get dried out and then use that to, to crumb it up. Uh, I just put them in a paper bag, and in a plastic bag, and use a rolling pin and just crunch them all up. And I, like I said, I put the liquid stuff and those in there so they can start getting uh, And see, I, this would be soaking while I was uh, dicing up the vegetables, but I've already done that. Fourth of a cup of red pepper, red bell pepper, and a fourth of a cup of onions for a single batch. A tablespoon of original Mrs. Dash, and most a lot of times I just buy Kroger, the Mrs. Drab Dash if it's available. I had a coupon this time, so I got the real thing. Mm -hmm. A tablespoon of that. This is a teaspoon and a half, so that would be a half a tablespoon. And 
it's a, like a fourth of a package to a half of a package. It's putting how much how uh, sausage you want it to taste. For the craft uh, fat free cheeses, if you try them, you'll never go back to craft. But where do you get the craft? Walmart. Okay. Okay. And if you use your kitchen aid, you put it on number two to stir it for about a minute. And you stir it for about a minute. Or you can just use your hands. I prefer leather gloves or plastic gloves and just squish it until you think you've got it all mixed together. Well, that's the berries right there. That is, isn't it? It's a minute. Yeah, it is. Did I get you all? <laughs> okay. That, in each cup, that's probably about first. Try to make the balls about an inch uh, diameter so that they'll cook in about 25 to 35 minutes, maybe even. If you get the bigger you get, you're going to have to get them all where it's going. And I think even if just you get those balls, you still well, I use these with my spaghetti too. I just uh, keep some frozen in the, in the freezer. I get you start to finish here. Some <laughs> spicy meatball. Yes. I do. They, and they work fine frozen. So I, and then I put them in a, a 350 oven <coughs> for um, 35 to 45 minutes. Now the, the sauce is all uh, blended together and the, all the cranberries have uh, liquefied the gel and now we'll just pour it over the meatballs and just pour it in here. I just always use the crock pot because I'm always having a Between there and then when we go upstairs we'll turn it on high so it'll be or we can turn it on low. I just pulled those out of the oven before I came in. Mm -hmm. So it should be hot enough to eat. There we go. That is it.